Good morning, everyone. I literally just woke up and popped on some clothes. I'm about to go and do my makeup because today I am going to bake with Ms. Keto and I'm that excited. I'm just gonna go and make my fat burner and I'll be right back. I probably should have done my hair first, but whatever. I'm honestly the messiest, like literally the messiest person when it comes to makeup. So I need coverage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my makeup in time lapse. So I will see you guys when I'm done. done a bit more glam than <laughs> what i intended but oh well i'll be filming all day so yeah at least i'll look somewhat decent i'm just gonna go over my lashes for those that are probably gonna ask that took me 22 minutes well from when I started filming that time lapse. 22 minute glam. This is what I'm bringing along to her house. So I just brought some of my molds that I have. So these ones are from Kmart, Coles, Coles. Some of the collagen fuel, some MCT oil powder. And then this one's the um, collagen as well. The chocolate one. Oh shit. Um, and then I just have some of the 90% lint chocolate. I've got an electrolyte thing if we want to make some gummies with it. Some white chocolate. This one. And then if we're going to make jellies, I just bought this one. But she said she's going to have most of the ingredients. And this chocolate, I don't know why. I'm so freaking keen to learn. Like so keen. All right. I'm going to probably head off soon, so I will chat to you guys when I get there. Oh my god, mold heaven. Look how many molds she has. 
Hey girl! I feel like I'm in a famous kitchen. <laughs> Look at all of her stuff. Holy shit. I'm so excited. Air fryer. The famous <laughs> I need to get one. Oh my god. These molds. I can't wait for my chocolate molds to come. Oh my god. Amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're gonna make the um, caramel fat bombs first. So other ingredients, she uses this Protein World, the Slender blend. Do you use this in like your smoothies as well? Or like, um, do you like it? It's yeah. salted caramel flavor. I like it, but um, I prefer the no whey one. Yeah. Because it's not a whey protein, so it's, this one's my next one that I need. She recommends this one. You can get this one from Elite Sucks. I ordered that too. And then the Lint 90% dark chocolate. I really wanted to find the 99 cent one. one Is there one? Yeah, one of my followers like, said that there was a 99 percent one at an IGA. And I drove there the other day and there was none. And I was really gutted. Oh my god. This is some MCT oil powder you can get from iHerb. And then these are the molds that she's going to use. Where's these molds from? Um, I think they were just from Kmart. Guys, <laughs> if you thought you were organized, <laughs> just look in here. Is there a light? Yeah. What the actual... <laughs> <laughs> look how, look how organized this is. Oh my God, I'm moving in. Look at this. My fridge is pretty good too. Yeah, I'm gonna go do a <laughs> fridge next. God, this is freaking goals. You're crazy, but in a good way. Wow. I'm not even going to show you my pantry. Okay, let's open the fridge. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. What are we doing here? Okay, so I'm melting down the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And I just put it on a low heat on the stove so. yeah i think that's where i went wrong last time i put it on three which is like six is the max so i yeah. probably should put it on like one hey yeah. it's like because it kind it of takes like longer Actually, yeah because like when i melted my chocolate and then added the mct oil powder it like it like cooked um, and it went like really hard so that's a whole block of the 90 so percent 12 molds so i'm gonna put 12 pieces in each piece is 10 grams so I'll just pop it in there and it takes a little bit longer but it's better to do it on a low heat rather yeah than well high that's heat. where I went wrong so when do you add the powders into so the... once it's fully melted okay I'll add the powder all right and then um, when this is melted just enough to get enough out I don't wait for the whole thing to melt I like stab a little hole yeah it's like a pouring hole. That's better. So you, you like measure how much? Yeah, because I'm going to have 10 grams in each bomb. So we want 120. <laughs> Not enough. So you just have to put it back on the stove. I'll just or... kind of, this um, little scoop is exactly 10 gram, 10 mils. Okay. So I'm just going to add yeah. two scoops and then I'll put it on the stove. That's why I like this little scoop because it's like when I'm pouring them into my molds. Yeah. I know exactly how much is going in. Not that it really matters, but some people mm. that want to track their food very precisely. So turn that up and then I'm going to add the caramel protein powder to the coconut oil yeah and then the french vanilla mct to the chocolate yeah which tastes amazing so these are all on iherb this is from elite subs you can get this from elite subs as well that's just from coles where's that one from iherb iherb Low carb emporium. Yeah. And then coals. 
Apparently, you just can't get air fryers on the Gold Coast anymore because everyone's just wiped them from Kmart. Like, when I went, there was four left. So, I was like, oh. oh like, God. I didn't specifically go for it. I just remember I needed to get something from Kmart. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go check out the um, air fryers. Yeah. And, yeah, they had some at the Rabina store. Oh my and then ever since I posted about it, like, I've gotten so many, like, DMs saying, like, oh, my God, yeah. where do you get it from? I've called, like, every single Kmart. That's so, so that's probably because yeah, of Yeah, I hadn't planned on getting mine. I just kind of was there. My mum's getting one now too. Like, 69 bucks. Yeah. Like, can't go wrong with that. Yeah. So we've got 12 molds. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add um, three scoops, which will mean each mold has like a quarter of, so five grams. This is 10 grams. So mm -hmm. each mold will have five grams of the caramel in it. You can get this from... Um, what is it? What's, what's it called? Chemist Warehouse? Like the yeah. protein mold? Yeah. So you can see it just makes it nice and creamy. Yum. Chocolate still melting. Yeah, that's definitely where I went wrong. Because yeah, this would have been like cool. People get impatient. You're like, oh, it's not, yeah. I'm just going to turn it up. Well, some people have even said like, don't even use it directly on the stove. Like to use it in a bowl above yeah, like I a thing. To, I used to put water on it. Yeah. Put it in a bowl, but. It still works. You can kind yeah. of like give it a stir mm -hmm. to like speed it yeah. up. Helps like circulate the heat around. I love how like glossy they look when you yeah. take them out of the mold. It's so satisfying. <laughs> oh my god. Yum. And then once you add the vanilla collagen powder and it's like so yummy. I, I sit on the couch and like lick the spoon <laughs> and like just sit there eating it. So I'm going to add three scoops of the MCT powder. So then this will thicken up quite nicely. And then I've turned this one off but because it's like already melted. So we're going to yep. do the chocolate layer first. Okay. Oh my god, yum. So you fill it halfway? Yeah. So you fill half of the thing with that and then half with the other and then let it freeze and then is that what you do? Yeah, I like I'll do two different ways to see which way looks best. Okay. Because it's all about experimenting. <laughs> experimenting here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do like six of them with the oh i'm gonna swirl it i love swirling yes <laughs> well that's good that it's not like blending but i guess they're like kind of half setting yeah like now okay so i'm just gonna give it a little swirl and it won't really look like it's doing much but it joins them together and when you cut bite into them they look super pretty but i'm gonna pop them in the freezer I keep the little board underneath it so that you'd like not because if you yeah. try to move this around yeah I do not, that too just a chopping have board a time. treat number two so this is a this is just like you'd have it as like a dessert so okay. I'm going to make one for both of us so it'll have 20 grams of the lint chocolate in it and then in the middle I'm going to add I'm going to use, once I pour that into there with a little bit of MCT powder, I'm going to add some white chocolate. Yum. And I'm not going to wash out the um, pot so that it's still got a bit of the chocolate, so it will turn into caramel sauce. Okay. And we'll have a caramel shot. Yum. These are the macros of this, by the way. And then macros of this. Oh. I'm going to add a scoop of the French vanilla powder because it's light. I'm so excited for this. I've never made it, but it'll kind of be like the caramel Easter egg that I made you. Oh my God. Yum. I'm so excited. So I got these little molds off Wish and that to make like those ice um, shot glasses. Mm-hmm. 
that I'm gonna make chocolate shot glasses. So are you filling it all with chocolate? I don't yeah. get it. And then when I pull it out, I'll show you. There's like a little Oh, like a little inside and then you're gonna put something in it. Caramel. Oh. So it's got like you see how Yeah, much? yeah, like uh Okay, freezer. Okay, we're making the caramel layer. So I've just added the white chocolate into the pot that still has the um, lint 90% in it. Mm -hmm. And it does, the white chocolate does take quite a while to melt, so. Yeah, I noticed that last time and it kind of like goes chunky yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. You just got to keep like stirring it and yeah. it does melt down. So for the caramel sauce, you can see it's like quite thick and gluggy. So I like mm -hmm. to add 10 mils of water and then you just give it a good mix and it just helps it like okay. be more chewy. Okay. We're checking on the caramel bombs. Ooh, yum. Oh my God, I'm master chef. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Is it like a scoop in each? Yeah. I need one of these things in my life. I guess you could just do this. Yeah, you can. But then it's just... Oops. Oh well. And then if that happens, you can kind of like scoop like the tiniest little bit oh, yeah, out. Oh yeah, true. And just, and just fill that one up. Yeah. The water like helps it make it more like... Yeah. Oh. Brick. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so yum. You can add more water if you want, but 10 ml seems to work pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we're making like mint slices. So we're gonna use this if it wants to focus. There we go. And the extra virgin coconut oil. You kind of have to get the one that's um, unrefined so it's like hard and you set it otherwise it doesn't set properly so okay. I'll put it that on one's just from Coles by the way I got that one too so I'm gonna pour how many molds have we got 12 oh no eight. Oh, that one oh that one 12 yeah so I'm gonna pour 120 grams And then I will add some vanilla coconut. One, two, three. So I'm adding three scoops of the vanilla coconut. I love this brand, this Primal Kitchen. It's like so clean ingredients. And the guy, Mark, what's his last name? Mark Sisson. He um, wrote like a book called like the Bulletproof Keto. Really? Yeah. He's, he's Such a good some idea. Good interviews and stuff. Yum. So I'm going to put. This is the. Wait, was it halfway? Yeah. That's alright. You can just scoop yeah, a little bit up. This was the MCT oil and. What did you mix in with it? Collagen powder. The coconut oil unrefined and then the vanilla coconut collagen powder. So it's going to be half the layer and we're going to do like a mint slice type bomb. Yum. With peppermint essence. Am I putting too much in or is that good? No, that's good. Okay. Oh my god, this makes it so much easier using this like I know, super right? thing. She got it from, like, in a chocolate fondue set, didn't you say? From Kmart? Yeah. yeah. And this just came with it. Alright. <laughs> okay. So for the second layer in the mint slice, we're going to have the lint 90%. And we've got, how many pieces are in there? 12? 12. Yeah. 10. 10, yeah. 10 pieces. So I might add two extras, and then we'll add the peppermint. Mm-hmm. Yum. So these molds are like designed to put 
ice in them so they're quite tricky to like get out normally and then just like twist it out oh my god it's a cup. shot glass <laughs> that's so cool and we're gonna fill it with caramel yum okay so we're pouring the caramel into the <gasps> oh my god stop it Ah, <laughs> that is, I'm literally that excited. Like, you have no idea. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> it survived, it survived. <laughs> Saved it. It was meant to do that. <laughs> We're gonna try some of the caramel sauce. Oh my god, that's so much. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, let's Wait. do it. Okay, this is just the sauce that went inside the thing. Mm. It definitely does taste like caramel. Yeah. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Holy, how do you get that caramel like texture? That's what it's, I don't understand. It's doing it like low and slow. And then adding that little bit of water, like the 10 mils. I can't. Dead. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yum. Are we done? Are we gonna pour? Yeah, the chocolate. So these are what is in the making of this mint slice. So coconut oil mixed with the collagen powder, is that right? Yeah. So that's the first layer. And then we're doing, when are we adding this? Um, adding it now. So okay, I'm so we're adding the peppermint. So I'm just gonna add like a capful. Or you can get that from like the supermarket. I'll do a little zoom up. The Queen's brand. So you gotta like mix that in well, otherwise it separates. Okay. The first time I did it, it was like, Strange. Really? Yeah, it'll separate it funny, but it tastes good. I'll get you to taste it and see if there's like enough. Um, okay. In it, in it. Wish true chips. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. If it, I think if there was a little bit more meat, it would be like overpowering. Okay. Master Chef over here. All the way to the top, or just like, yeah. yeah. I don't really. I made a chocolate bar with like this once, but I haven't made an egg. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna make her egg burger buns. Is that what they're called? What are you gonna put in that beef patty bacon and then just the eggs? Yeah, and I might put a little bit of like almond flour in. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna make like egg buns and then put on um, a patty with some bacon. So, oh my God. Oh, are they good? <laughs> Guys, look at her freaking spice drawer. <laughs> Wow, that's from Wish, hey? Yes, yeah, I got two and of them. Then I need to get all some of those. Making it, so, and then I put little labels on the bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> so organized. So I've got the minced um, pennies that we made up the other day, which are just like mince rolled up. Pop them in the pan. So you don't add any oil or anything to it? I don't because, because you're getting like the full fat mint. Um, it kind of cooks in its own fat. Okay. This is oh my god, that seems like a lot. Shrink but then I guess, yeah, it shrinks to like nothing. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the bone broth. So this one is the garden herb flavor from Ico to the meat patty.
little bit of the mingle garden and herb flavour. No, garlic. Garlic and herb. <laughs> So I'm adding a little bit of psyllium husk in the, with the egg mixture. So we've got six eggs, which is three eggs each. Stick blend is just a like $25 one from Kmart. Two centimeters high in here. Quarters into sandwich crease, which this one's from Kmart as well. She's doing two um, burger bun things. Yeah, mine's gonna be like a flatbread one, and then yours will be burger. This one's pretty good. So you want to get your spatula right in underneath and then like bend it to the side and then flip it over. Oh awesome, it actually looks like a bun. <laughs> I'll donate one. Oh my god. <sighs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> that shows not that bad. <laughs> That one has lemon and lime juice in it. Yeah, I think that's what makes it a bit... Water. <laughs> water. That was, that was a lot better than my one that I made. I need to mix more water with them, I think. I'll give you some... Have you tried those little drops? No. So that was salt water, apple cider vinegar and water. What is this you're making? <laughs> I need to get one of those metal spoils as well. This one's from Low Carbon Flame. I'm gonna try these water drops from Low Carbon Forum. Yum! How much did you put in there? It's like a squirt. It's like a squirt, yeah. It's really good in a slushy as well. Or if you were like getting vodka soda and lime, you can take these or the lemon lime flavor ones. And that's put them so in so that you don't have to add soda. Yum. Oh my god, they look like actual buns. I can't get over it. Look how thick they are. And that's how many eggs is that? One and a half. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's gonna be the bottom base. And then I'm gonna pop Katie onto here. Then I'm going to add some of the Heinz American Mustard on top. Dead. Top it with some bacon. And then... Ow! <laughs> Holy shit balls. So this is my egg bun burger with a beef patty and some streaky bacon and some of this. And I'm so keen. Okay, this is her um, bun. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make it in two different ways. It's just kind of like finding, or you could even like pour it into a mold and cook it yeah. in the sandwich press. Yeah. Or it looks a bit fluffier like that way, that my, the way that you did mine. Yeah. I prefer it like that. Yeah. Hi guys! Hi. I'm just wait for a couple of people to come on. Oh. Look what we just made. So this is basically an egg bun burger. So eggs, cheese, streaky bacon, beef mm -hmm. patty, yeah. and mustard. Hey Katie. Um, how 
how long after exercising do you eat? Straight away, like as soon as I get home from my 45. Yeah. Like at 10.30 is my first meal because I stop eating at like 6 o'clock. Yeah. I normally do my workout like mm. 6 in the morning kind of thing. So I don't eat for 3 hours after which is like going to excel your fat burning because you're going to be more in autophagy with your fasting. If you don't do fasting, then it doesn't matter. Why are fat bombs good? You can answer that. Why are they not? <laughs> no, they, they're a really good little treat and like stops you having cravings for a Mars bar or... What was your favorite chocolate bar before? I feel like just mine normal was like milk Cadbury. Mine was just caramel everything, like a caramel bar, mm. caramello, um, just I just like caramel plain. koalas. I freaking Yum. loved them. But that little our treat that we're gonna have after this, gonna it's gonna be a caramel <laughs> koala. So this is my first meal of the day. Same. Um, apart from I had a little spoonful of caramel sauce before, because we just had to taste it to make sure it was good. Someone just goes, "Keto is so bad for you." Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I feel blood maker number on keto. Mm. Is that me? Yeah. Yeah. You don't really need to stress over the number. As long as you're above 0 0.5, you're good. Oh my god, 327 people are watching this right now. <laughs> Is that a cheat meal? Um, no, it's like two meals joined together. So one of the meals is bacon and eggs and butter. And one of the second meals of the day is a meat patty and like some vegetables. We could have added spinach into this, but mm -hmm. we're pretty happy with this combo. Mm. How is it meeting mm. each other for the first time? Do you want to tell them? Or, no. Do you want to know actually how I met you? Yeah. Um, you won't remember. Yes, I will. I do remember. When? When I was in surface one night drunk oh, and you what? came up to me and you are like... Oh my god, I follow your makeup page, can I get a photo? Oh my god, I didn't think you knew that. Yeah, I did. So, I seen Jazz in Shooters once. I was out with some friends from New Zealand. and like I two years ago, hey. Yeah, and I seen this really pretty blonde girl on the dance floor and I was like, <laughs> wow, she's so pretty. And then I was like, wait a minute, that looks like Jazz hand. But I was like, what? And I actually was in the club and pulled up her Instagram to check and I saw she was out and I was like, so I was really nervous, but I went up and I was like, hey, are you Jess? And you're like, yeah, and she just started dancing with me. We're dancing for a while. And then later that night, do you remember I saying you again? No. no. Well, later that night, she was, I think she was eating kebab. <laughs> and no. um, you know, um, I went up to her and I was like, can I please get a picture with you? And then your friend, I think that, that your, I can't remember his name, the tall, dark thing guy, he took a picture of us. Probably George. Yes, it was mm -hmm. George, yeah. And um, yeah, he took a picture of us. And then this is, and then it gets more. And then, so I was really excited and then posted it and she replied to me on Instagram and I was really excited. <laughs> She's like, oh, it was nice to meet you. And then the next night, I seen her again. Where? What? At donut time. You didn't see me, but oh I see you. Trust me being at donut time. So we were going to like Burger Fuel in Mermaid mm -hmm. Beach and I was like, I'd told James about it the night before. And then you were there and I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna think I'm stalking her. <laughs> and yeah, I seen her at donut time and I was gonna get a caramello filled donut. Mm -hmm. As you do. Veronica Mars, it was called. And um, I was like, James is like, what's so high? Like you met her last night. I was like, no, I can't. Oh my god, I didn't know that. And that's then, so funny. Then, the week later, I sat behind you at Josh Wade. You are joking. That's and so then, funny. So then, yeah, I was, I was sitting behind you and I didn't notice. You turned to the side and I was like, oh, that girl's hair's nice. And then I was like, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> Jess. I was like, no what is way. happening? And James was like, oh my gosh, that's so weird. That's the third time now. And within like a week. And I'd never seen her anywhere on the Gold Coast before. And that's then, crazy. Like the magnetic field was just like drawing me to her. <laughs> How did I find out that you did keto? I don't know. I think I, I just found you through just like Instagram searches. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I recognize you. 
Yeah, but I you didn't realize that I recognized you. No, I didn't know that you. No, I did. Why well, when I posted the picture, I thought you might have maybe remembered. No, I did. Do you have the photo? Yes, we'll show you guys later. Do you have it? Still? Yeah, yeah, it's in my favorite. <laughs> Does soul water help with the headaches? Definitely, because it's full of 73 trace minerals and it has magnesium and potassium and sodium in it. How much have you guys lost on keto? 8.6 kilos on keto. Mm. What about you? From starting keto, around 8 kilos. So good. How many calories were you on when you started? I was on like 1,000... 600 before and on the plan I'm on around 1400 fine yeah ultimate keto cheat meal mm. there's so many everything that you so eat is like a cheat meal, meal. um I love the egg fried noodles with the hemp parts the garlic ones in them next time I come over you're making me that keto. yes I'm, I'm from New Zealand I am I know I wanted to make you this burger and then I wanted to make you the egg fried noodles and I also wanted to make you the caramel pancakes. And Next time. But we'll just have to have like brunch dates. How long are you planning to do keto? Is it a long term or short term thing? Well, at first I just wanted to do it to lose weight, but now I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to try and do it for as long as I can. Did you get the keto flu? I didn't. Mm. No. Mm, I didn't really get it severely. I got... Um, the magnesium and potassium supplements, supplements pretty quick, so that helped. The so, best way to increase fat intake? Um, fat bombs are good. If you're starting out, you can make, like, well, if, if you want a really simple one, just coconut oil, you can add, like, a little bit of vanilla collagen and put two raspberries in it. Really yum. Your absolute must-haves, the top products you could not live without on keto. I feel like you can answer this question because I've just only recently... The absolute must-haves are just clean ingredients, so just shopping from the outside of your supermarket, like not packaged things. Don't be fooled by all the little like, there's like keto bars and things you can get that have like dates and sugar, all the hidden sugars and that in it. Um, but MCT oil is really going to help with ketosis because it's a medium chain triglyceride, so it's just like the best part of coconut oil. And it turns straight into ketones in your body. It doesn't get stored as excess fat. So if you if you are trying to get your ketone levels up a bit, add MCT oil into your diet and that will definitely help. If you drink coffee, you can just put it in your coffee and you mm -hmm. can't even taste it. Brie Williams. Also, what made you both choose keto? Um, I probably started six months ago now. So yeah. what, made, what made you choose it? Um, well, my mum's boyfriend introduced me to it. I had no idea what it was because I had, like, obviously didn't follow all these keto yeah. pages on Instagram. I didn't even have my separate fitness account. So I had absolutely no idea what it was. And he was explaining it to me and it sounded delicious. Like, all the foods that you can eat were foods that I love. So I, like, researched and decided to transition into it and see how I went. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just quickly, Olivia, we get the white chocolate from Elite Sucks or Low Carb Emporium. You'll be able to find it on both of our pages. I've been on, I've been keto for over a year now, and what made me choose that? I just started researching it, and then I actually watched The Magic Pill on Netflix. I've only watched half of that, and that gives you a lot of information about how food works and like how important good nutrition is and our gut health and everything like that. So. Then I got deeper into research and now I'm like, it's my life. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed too. It's so weird how you can become obsessed with food. Was, you're like passionate about it and changed mm. my life so much. Um, I lost my anxiety, panic attacks, which were crazy and not, not fun. Um, I was getting quite depressed from all the panic attacks because I just not know when I was going to have one. And always think that I couldn't breathe and stuff like that. So oh, shit losing that after having it for 10 years that's what's made me want to keep going like yeah heart. should we have the yeah i'm like just thinking about it like i was just like waiting for you to remember finally she gets the hint <laughs> this is what it looks like you can't really like you can't tell but it's it's gonna be nice right <laughs> cheers oh my god
I've had then. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's like chewy. Mm. Mm. What? The actual. Oh my god. Why do you get bad breath? It's not necessarily bad. There's all different types. There's three different parts of a keto, a ketone molecule. Beta hydroxybutyrate and the acetone is um, one of them and it comes up through your breath. It's not a bad thing. It's good to show that you're in ketosis. When you're on keto and fasting together combined, you increase your human growth hormone. So you're not actually going to lose muscle. You might use, lose the tiniest bit to start with when you're converting but you actually can gain muscle that's why you will find some bodybuilders and that that do keto for short periods and that because you increase increase your growth hormone mm. oh my god i could have with it mm. if i'm taking bcaa's is salt water still needed as i'm getting electrolytes from bcaa's depends if you've got headaches listen to your body if you're feeling like lethargic in your like getting headaches or anything, then up your mineral, uh, your electrolytes. But just be careful with the BCAAs that they don't have sucralose um, 955 sweetener in it. Is that what sucralose is? 955? Yeah. So every time splendor. you see 955, it means sucralose. Yeah, and oh, then it's, it's also that. splendor. Can you do vegan keto? You can. You just gotta like make sure you get lots of fats, like your coconut oils and macadamia oil things like that and with um if you're dairy intolerant there's heaps of alternatives there's a little guide on my page that has alternative things to dairy as well because a lot of people are um intolerant to dairy but people get confused why you can do like sour cream cream cheese and that but you can't have milk on keto mm. do you know why that no, I don't know why milk has so many yeah. more carbs than like cream cheese and sour cream. It's more the fact that on the dairy scale there's dairy fats and there's dairy protein and um, the milk is a dairy protein so it turns into, it's um, lactose so it turns into glucose in your body so your liver converts it into sugar and stores it as excess fat so um, that's why. So um, you don't want like even like skim milk and things like that. You have so many more carbs than normal milk. Yeah, so it's um, Anything. That, that's why you can have like thick cream in your coffee over milk, which seems weird. It's hard to wrap your head around, mm -hmm. but it's the way it get, gets processed in the body. With the JR plan, is it beginner friendly for people who haven't started yet? 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. I kind of wish I went on something like that when I yeah, first started. That would it just help give, yeah, so much it just gives you like a rough guide on what you can and can't eat and it's already set out like he has all the macros mm. everything so you don't have to count calories or do mm. anything like that okay so i'm gonna get out the caramel bombs Ooh. this is what they look like yum we're just gonna put them into a pot bag and then we'll load them into the treat bags so i love working with silicon molds just because they're so easy to like work with if you have them in like a pan like some kind of cupcake mold it's gonna be really oh, nice to get them in so maybe don't yeah. yeah because these are made with like coconut oil they've obviously got good fats in them so they're pretty filling so mm. you know a lot of people say they love them and then they want to overindulge but they're not like something that you'd feel like overindulging in because they've got the dark chocolate in them as well it's quite overpowering yeah so that's a good thing but i like to store mine in the freezer and then just get one out the day before and then you're not gonna like binge on them so yeah like oh that tastes so good dark chocolate oh mm. that was the perfect amount i, I did like two scoops Two helmet two. What are those things? Two the lid. Caps. The lid. Yeah, I did no, two. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Yum. Don't mind me just eating like the <laughs> the scrap. Okay, we're making some electrolyte jelly um, lollies. Ooh, where are these from? Just from eBay. Okay, I need some. I've got like the smaller droplets that I got from the discount shop. Would you like some lime? Lime. 
can use some of this one. Vanilla berry. So one scoop is three grams. So if that's ten, so one scoop of this is ten grams, so yeah. So you've got equal parts jelly mm -hmm. to your gelatine. And that's gonna make it like nice and firm. So now we're mixing in 150 mils of hot water to each. Where's so the, the um, I'll grab a little spoon. Yeah, grab one. Yeah, I found that too. If you just leave it there for ages, it doesn't, like, the gelatin, like, kind of sets and goes clumpy. And then you just kind of, like, push it. Oh, shit. This one smells amazing. You just, like, push it against the edge. I just squeeze it real tight at the start so I get heaps in there. So we've just filled up all the silicon trays. So cute. And you pop them in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Yum. So we're gonna make some chocolate bars, some caramel ones, are we yes, gonna do? Yes, caramel ones. So yeah, this is gonna go in the treat little goodie bag for you guys. What are we using? So we're gonna use the lint, 90%. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite one. And then the Keto Zone MCT oil powder, mm -hmm. French vanilla, um, one of the Vitaworks white chocolate bars, and that's all. All right, what are we doing? We're melting down some of the Vitaworks in one, and then the lint dark chocolate in that one. Just mixing the chocolate. Should have put this in the oh, Yeah. So I'm gonna pour some dark chocolate into the white chocolate, which will make it taste like caramel sauce. Do you put water in it? Yeah, I put um, water in. If you, it depends how many kind of you're making, like we're making quite a lot. So sometimes once it's all melted, I'll just turn the stove off so that it's still sitting on the heat, but not going to overcook or anything. That looks perfect. Yum. You can't get MCT oil powder from that chemist warehouse, hey? I don't think so. That's so dumb. They should make something like that you can get in store. Yeah, definitely. Because like, that's why most people... People yeah. that live, um, we're slow carbon borium based, like Mel Melbourne. Melbourne, I think. Or Melbourne, somewhere. They have like you can pick up in store. Are you just doing half and half? I think so, yeah. I might swirl it a little bit so it goes around the edges. So this is just the lint 90% chocolate and mixed with the French vanilla MCT powder from iHerb. You can use any like protein powder to thicken it up or collagen powder. Okay, so the jellies are out of the freezer. We're going to pop them out of the molds and put them in in there. These, these ones will be pretty strong too, the jellies. Which ones? Like these ones because it's a full packet. Lighting in this corner. Can you see what the jellies look like? Yum. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pour some citric acid over the top to make them sour. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put the caramel layer on top now. So, give it a bit of a stir. Yum. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. <laughs> wow. I want to try one of those mint ones before I leave. You have to remind me to grab one. Amy? Hi! Hello! Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. So, the chocolates are out of the freezer. We're gonna pop them out of the molds. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. So these little pulley things like release the air so they make them like, Ooh. Oh, they make <laughs> them like pop out a lot easier. They're from Wish as well, by the way. Oh, they're so thick. Oh my God. Yum. These look better than my normal ones. Look at the middle of that. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, you're not feeling Yes, I am. Oh my god, thank you. Enjoy. You're welcome. These are gonna. They're literally amazing. We just She'll email you the um the recipe as well to all of them. You don't have to feel guilty. They're only like one to two grams of pasta per serve. Yeah. Okay. You'll love them. <laughs> See you, girl. Oh, you sorry. have Ooh, sorry, I scratched you with us. See ya. See ya. Thank you. So Bye. Much. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys! I honestly had the best day ever. Like, I learnt so much from her. Like, she's honestly, she's one of my inspirations. I could definitely say that. Like, she just the way she does everything, cooks everything. It's freaking goals, and she. I don't know. She's just, yeah, she's amazing. So we cooked so much today. I've got like, I probably have over two hours worth of footage and I'm going to, this vlog is probably going to be so long, but I hope you guys enjoy it. She gave me a little goodie bag with some treats that we made today, which is so cute. So yeah, in the goodie bags, she's just got out her little jellies. I'm going to actually have one. Mm, yum. She's got her chocolate bar, her mint slice bomb, and her caramel bomb, and a lollipop. I'm going to actually eat those while I'm driving. But while she was cooking, you know how she cooks with like the little pans? I actually went to the discount store just down the road because I was like, okay, I'm never up this side of the Gold Coast because I live like in Burley and she lives in Helensvale. So I went and got one of them. It's just like a really mini version, like this big, to make those um, buns that we um, made today and to also melt my chocolate when I'm making fat bombs. So this was $20 from Choice Discount store in the Helensvale Plaza. And then I just got this silicon mold so I can make like mini fat bombs if I'm not feeling like the bigger ones. Or you can make your jelly treats out of this as well. And she also gave me, bless her freaking cotton socks, this MCT oil powder that she uses all the time in her cooking. This is actually sold out at the moment on iHerb, but I'll leave everything that we used today in the description box down below as well as where you can get everything. But um, yeah, today was amazing. I'm so glad it happened. I am off to go home. I'm not hungry in the slightest. It's 4 p.m. or it's actually 4.15. Um, yeah, we ate around 1 p.m. and we had like that massive meal. We like combined both of our breakfast and lunch um, meals that are on the meal plan together. Um, so our macros fit in with what we ate. Um, and then we had a little treat, which was that um, little fat bomb thing and it was so so good so I'm going to yeah I'm gonna go home also it was so lovely to meet some of you guys today that picked up some of the treats um, I got a few photos which was really cute um, so yeah 
I'm gonna finish off these little jelly lollies while I drive. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Ms. Keto on Instagram for heaps of really cool treats and recipes. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.